Oh there, um, I want to do a short take of uh, a connection between a Cisco power switch and uh, a HP blade system and an existing uh, 1G network. So I hope you follow through. So here we have um, a Catalyst 4506E. It's running on the WSX45 sub 7 LE supervisor engine. Um, the supervisor engine gives the core switch uh, the 10G capability. So with the uh, supervisor engine, it comes with a uh, four four um, SFP ports. So actually, you can do four 1G um, active links at the same time or two 10G. So you can't do four 10G at the same time. So over here, what I have is I have one 10G link to the blade system, and I have one 1G uplink to the existing network. So there you can see. Okay, I'll just follow the 10G link um, just to show you how, how it's connected to the uh, blade system. So if I just uh... yeah, so um, so this is the the back of the chassis. It's a C7000 chassis, and I have uh, a HPVC Flex Fabric 10 GB uh, module running on the chassis. I actually have two uh, in redundant mode, but the other one is not being used at the moment. So the 10 G link from the core switch comes here, um, so it gives the connectivity between the blade system and the core switch uh, 10 G speed, which is great and actually recommended. Um, that's my onboard administrator. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, so um, coming back to the front of the core switch, I have the other 1G link um, to the existing network. It goes all the way to uh, an existing 3750 switch, access switch. So yeah, from the access switch to the core switch, it's a 1G link. From the core switch to the servers, it's 10G link. It's a 10G link. So that's pretty much of the backbone connectivity. Maybe I can just show you uh, an overview of the servers on the system. Yep, okay, so this is my C7000 chassis. I have five um, BL660C servers running, so one, Two, three, four, five. So what I've done is I've implemented Hyper-V, uh, uh, Windows Hyper-V, um, to run on four of the blades, uh, one, two, three, and four, and four. So I have Hyper-V running at the core, and then I have uh, Windows 2012, Windows Server 2012 standard uh, as VMs. So I have two VMs on each of the physical blades, on the first blade, I have um, I have I have a DC and I have an exchange. And on the second blade, I have also a DC and a second instance of an exchange server. Then on the rest, uh, on this third one, I have um, I have SharePoint and I have uh, an instance of uh, an endpoint manager, uh, an endpoint security manager. Yeah, so that's pretty much. Uh, the configuration on the servers. Um, the, the fifth server, I haven't installed any uh, virtualization solution. I think I prefer, I usually prefer this server to manage the Hyper-V's uh, installations on the rest of the four servers.